so my chair is like really wonky let's see if 3d printing can fix that Why is it so hard? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. Okay, so I need to make a bushing because it's not sitting flat up against this surface. So I need to make like a spacer so that there's no wiggle room anymore. But first we gotta get the dimension here. Uh, and to do that, we're going to need a set of calipers. So uh, I'm just going to set mine to zero. Okay, let's take the measurement. Oh, okay. All right, so that reads 12.4. Okay. So now we're in Fusion 360. I'm going to start a new sketch. I'm going to choose the flat bottom plane. Okay, so I'm going to create a circle first with the inner dimension, which is 12.5. I'll just round it up. Sometimes 3D printing has a little uh, errors. So the outer dimension, um, let's see, maybe we'll set it to 20. Yeah, 20 sounds good. And then, okay, so now we're done with the sketch. Uh, let's click finish sketch. Uh, so we're going to extrude that face. Press E. Uh, but how much to extrude? Um, we don't really know, so we have to measure. Um. So now to determine how much I should extrude that by, the height of the spacer, we need to see how thick this thing is. Um, and I'm not going to measure all the way to the side here because uh, I want to give it a little bit of space. Uh, let's do 8 millimeters, and then, you know, if it works, we'll print another one for the other side. All right, so we got it. It's time to test it out. I'm really excited. I hope it fits. Um. Oh shit, the hole is too small. That's kind of what she said. <laughs> okay. Well, there's no worries. I have a drill, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna ream this out. That is actually the technical term of enlarging a hole. We're gonna ream it out. Oh shit, okay, so that is um, too small. I'm gonna find my bigger bits. Damn it, I thought that was the right size. I thought it was gonna be such a cool shot. All right, okay, I got my toolbox. Uh, all right, we got another drill bit here. I think this one's bigger. This is big enough. Oh no. Okay, it looks like I don't have a big enough um, drill bit <laughs> to make this bigger so it looks like it's back to the drawing board I'm gonna have to reprint this in a bigger size so I'll be back with that okay so we're just gonna slightly adjust it from 12.5 to 13 that should be done finish sketch I gotta re extrude that I think it was 20 no that looks wrong you know what I think it was 8 let's change that control Z Okay, so I'm going to extrude it now by 8. Okay, so I'm going to print this and I'll see you back. Hey, alright. Let's see if it fits. Wow. Okay, awesome. So I'm just going to screw this back onto there and then we'll see if it still wiggles. Alright, time for a test. 
I mean, it's okay. I know it looks like it's shaking a lot, but this is <laughs> way better than it was before. For contrast, look at this one. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, this is a huge difference. See, when I'm shaking this, the other one is wobbling. That's how bad it was. And and I show you the screws are tight. I've already tightened that. Nothing you can do besides, you know, my engineer solution. So yeah, that's the that's the piece over there, the 3D printed piece. So to summarize, um, 3D printing did save the day. Uh, but the moral of the story is not that 3D printing can save the day, it's that you shouldn't spend your money on cheap Chinese crap. Get better quality products. Bye.